my name is Monica. I'm from cookie.com and I'm here to talk about the Shopify widget. If you don't already know Shopify, it's one of the top e-commerce solutions we have out there. We had some free widget before for Shopify, but the Shopify store has a completely different structure and is way more advanced than anything else out there. It's probably even better than the similar ones for other platforms. The widget is a collection of multiple parts allowing you to connect and modify every single aspect in your Shopify from simple buttons to updating the images based on variations and customizing the variations to a very large extent. So this is the first of two videos and I'm going to go over connecting the widget to your Shopify store and I'm also going to explain each part of the widget. The next video goes over customization so if you want to see that go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and open Muse. First, I'm going to grab the main widget. So in order to use the widget, we need an API key and a shop name. So let's go ahead and go to Shopify to grab both of those. In order to get our API key, we need to first create the buy button sales channel. So, I'm so I clicked on the plus icon beside the sales channel and then I'm going to click Add beside the Buy button. Next, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click Create Token. And I'm going to copy this Access Token and then I'm going to paste it into Muse. Next, I'm going to get my shop name. Our shop name can always be found in the URL. Copy and paste it into the widget so that it exactly matches. It's case sensitive, so if it doesn't match, it's not going to work. Next, I'm going to talk about the button. The button allows you to add items to the cart, but first we need to connect the button to a product in our Shopify store. To connect the parts of the widget to a product, we can use the product ID. Here's how you can find your product ID. We're going to open a product in Shopify. So I have this shoe. And then I'm going to go to the URL at the top and I'm going to copy the number at the very end. This is our product ID. Then I'm going to paste it into the widget. And now our product is connected to our button. Next, I'm going to talk about the cart. For some of the overall aspects on the cart, we can change the fill color, stroke, round corners, and fonts using the panels directly in Muse. So for example, if I wanted to change the font, I would select the cart, open the text panel, and then I would change the typeface. But as you see here, there are many details in the cart that need to be modified from within the option panel. We have many drop downs here in the cart panel, but don't worry about the amount of options here. These are only to provide you with more customization options and can be used to fully customize all the parts. The options we have in the dropdown are almost similar in terms of what function they control, such as font size and background colors, which are pretty self-explanatory. We can also change the way the cart enters the page and how it's eventually placed. And we can do that by opening general and going to transition type. There's four different options that you can use. So we can check out full height on the right. Go ahead and preview. And there it is. We can also check out another one. We can check out scale hide from the center. And this one's gonna pop out from the center when we click on the add cart button. There we go. Next, I'm gonna talk about the cart trigger and the cart number. So we have our cart trigger, which triggers the cart, 
It's actually a simple object with a graphic style applied to it. We included this object as a sample, but feel free to go ahead and create your own object and assign this graphic style name to it to make it the cart trigger. Your other option is that you can customize this object to fit your needs. You can change the color, you can add rounded corners, you can make it your own. The cart number simply shows how many items are added in the cart and it updates whenever you add new ones. So add to cart and it updates, it has a little animation. You can customize this of course and create a simple number by removing the background and stroke or styling it in any way that you want. One cool thing you can do is you can make the cart number transparent and you can attach it to the cart trigger so it looks like traditional online stores. So let's take a look at the image widget. So of course we can use any image in Muse instead of the image widget. But the advantage of using the image is that it updates whenever you change it in Shopify, select a variation, or whenever you change an option on your site. So basically, it's an automatically updating image that's connected to the entire widget. It has powerful responsive options and you can also add tags to the image for SEO purposes. Next, I'm going to talk about the title, price, and description. So the font color, font size, and font style can easily be changed on all three of these just by using the text panel. All you need to do is select it and then change it here. Just like almost any other part of the widget, the title is auto-updated. So instead of typing yours, just type the product ID in, and whenever it's changed in Shopify backend, it changes here as well. It's also the same for the price in the description. For the price, we also have control on other details, such as the size and color of the decimals and the currency sign. The description is super powerful because it has the ability to bring all the content that you place in your description panel in Shopify. We also designed it to keep everything proportional, such as keeping your width and height in a responsive manner when you add YouTube or Vimeo videos to the description, which we have described in details in the next video. Next, I'm going to talk about variations. The variations widget pulls out all the variations under a certain option in your Shopify backend. This way you can combine multiple variations easily by putting multiple copies of the widget. Remember it's case sensitive, so don't mistype the naming or the widget won't connect properly. To prevent that, have Shopify open when typing the name into the widget. For example, I made this variation in Shopify backend, and so all I have to do is enter the name in. So I have size with a capital S. So when I open my variation, I'm going to type in size with a capital S. And then when I preview it, all the options will automatically show up. So I have all four of my sizes. Next, I'm going to talk about single variations. So single variations is the more powerful type of variations that we have. It allows you to literally fully customize any variation and option in your Shopify store and add it as a radio button. 
So for example, I have these options for colors in my Shopify backend. I have red, yellow, and blue. But I only want to include yellow and blue on my page. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type these values in, yellow and blue, both with capital letters at the beginning. And so my option name is colors with a capital C, and then I have yellow with a capital Y. And then I'm going to duplicate this and do the same thing for blue. And I'm going to change the color just to make them distinct from each other. And so now when I preview, by clicking on this single variation and clicking on Add to Cart, you can see that this option is added to the cart. A cool thing about this widget is that you can have multiple variations for a product. So if you want to sell shoes and give people the option for size and color, you can do that just like I did just now. You can also upload an image for each variation. This will cause the image widget to automatically update itself. The image for the variation will also show up in the cart. One of the most powerful features in the widget is the connection we have between parts. For example, if you select a variation, the image on the image widget changes to the variation's image, which you can assign in the back end of your Shopify. The price also updates as well if it is different. So as you can see, all the parts are connected but separately customizable. So I've created another video for you in which I create a sample and I explain how to customize some of the parts in more detail. If you have any questions, you can simply email us at support at cookie.com. And thank you for watching.